sorry, Hugo didn't apply. He's actually a really good singer. <laughs> You're really in love with Hugo, aren't you, Alice? Oh yeah, like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> have you had lots of boyfriends? Well, that depends what you mean by lots. Well, one, really? Yeah, lots. But, you know, I've given that all away now, you know, it was too much waxing for my liking and you always have a funny feeling in your tum, don't you? <laughs> don't tell me about it. Every time I see you, I feel like I've eaten a whole cow pad. Really? Andrew, you're sexy, you love Jesus. <laughs> oh. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I best for you. See you on Hello, Dan, sit down. I'll, I'll make that Tristan like for the BBC. Uh, yes, well, <laughs> Wouldn't get your hopes up, Vicar. <laughs> He's probably some sad old soak whose career peaked when he directed Badger Watch. Oh yes, you always think the people at BBC are going to be, you know, glamorous. Then you remember the Nicholas Witchell works there. Not to mention, most of them are so homosexual they make John Inman look like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> when are we expecting him? I don't know, when the doorbell rings, hopefully. Oh, good. Lovely. It'll we'll be that Tristan bloke for sure. You sure? Yep, if anyone can ring What the was his surname? Oh. Can you remember? Campbell or something. Campbell, very Scottish name. Yes. Yes, that's it what I thought. It could be a too. McPherson or something. A McPherson, you reckon? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Um. Well, anything on telly? I don't know. I have a BBC show on Are we having a ding dong doorbell any morning? Oh, lovely. Oh, oh that'll be him now. Tristan. Oh, hi. Hi, lovely to meet you. Oh, do come in. Um, this is David Campbell. He's the chairman of our parish council. <laughs> Tristan, this is David. Pleased to meet you. Well, we've ever worked with uh, John Inman, Tristan. David's an enormous fan. Oh, afraid not. Uh, Camp Tommy's not really my cup of tea. No, mine neither. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I must get going. There's some uh, wrestling or something that I need to see on television. Good evening. Um, coffee? Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, um, it's very good of you to let us do this. Um, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Do you mind an instant? Uh, no, that's great. I've only got a few minutes, but... Oh, no, no, please sit down. I'll, I'll go get it. Thank you. Okay. Have you uh, met, met a lot of opposition? Oh, well, you know, David's been a bit hostile, but I can, you know, I can cope with it. Oh, yes, you often find it's the gay or Catholics who kick up the most fuss. Oh, no, David's not, um, yes, 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 you're right. Um, about the program, um, any idea about hymns? Well, first of all, I have to talk about the coffee. Because, um, you know, I just love that sound, it makes me pop it, you know, woohoo! <laughs> Um, yes, it is fine. Well, you yes. said the right thing. Sorry. Um, yes. Well, some of them suggested Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Oh, David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a new one. I just love that popping sound. Makes me open it, don't you? Woo! <laughs> yes, it is fine. Yes. Uh, moving on then. Um... <clears throat> um, about the about about the readings. Mm -hmm. Would it really love one of the readers to be a woman? Oh, not me. Oh, you've got to know the sodomite. Oh, right, yes, I, I mustn't hobble the everything, must I? You know. Oh, so you'll be keeping the sermon in then? Oh, yes, it's very much the heart of the program. I really want people to get a glimpse of the woman underneath the cassock. Oh, well, you're talking spiritually, I hope. Yes, I'm talking spiritually, yes. Oh, right, right. Okay, oh, look, I must get the coffee. Oh, uh, Never mind, I really must be going. I'm very late. Um, yes, yes, traffic this time of night is not existent. Um, yes, not existent. Um, oh, I'll send it down to Becky the church for the cameras if that's okay. It's not okay, it's, it's okie dokie. <laughs> good night then, Daryl. Oh, good night, good night. Oh, good, lovely. Oh, really it's lovely, lovely to meet you. Um, oh, no, lovely to meet you. Uh, thank you. Oh, can I just have my hand? Sure, please. Lovely. Look forward to seeing you. The hand. Oh, the hand. Just, thank you. Okay. <laughs> good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. God, I did a pig impression. I just can't believe it.
Can I be of assistance? I don't know. Can you? I'm David. David Horton, chairman of this parish. It's a glorious little building, isn't it? Very fine buttress. Lovely abs. I'm wrecking for the cameraman. Oh, part of the cameraman team. I am the cameraman? Yes, of course you are. I thought I'd focus on this tombstone. Lovely lettering. Be alive, Farah Fison. Uh, no, it's uh, Sarah Sissons. You see, the F's are S's. I was joking. <laughs> yes, of course you were. And look there, underneath, Jane, uh, Fister of the above. Uh, sister, one hopes. Come on, Dave. Let's check out your buttress. As you do. I'm really nervous. Oh yes, aren't we all? Well, we'll have a practice to read on it. Okay. <clears throat> Ye are the salt of the earth and sainted. God shall seal your endeavours until ye sit on his right hand. Therefore fight the good fight for his sake and he shall be your succor. Su uh, what sucker? Hmm? What? You're what? not even listening. Oh, you said something about sucking. Uh, sucker? Yeah, what does it mean? Oh, well, it means comfort, nourishment, and support. Like you do for me, Alice, you, you give me sucker. And we'll certainly need it tonight in front of all those people. Interesting. Who? Who? The producer. Oh, him, him. I'd totally forgotten about him. Hadn't thought once about him licking me up the legs. <laughs> Well, I hope he doesn't expect me to go to too much trouble, you know. It's not the job of the vicar to flirt, you know. Hugo, what would you say if I were to uh, bring home a, a girlfriend? Oh, um... Grateful, but uh, I'm already married. Remember? No, no, not for you. I meant a girlfriend for myself. Oh, right. Got you. Yes, excellent. What, some sort of pleasant, plump, middle-aged sort of? No, not necessarily. Uh, no, of course not. There are plenty of older women who have fought hard to keep their looks. Their necks are often a bit of giveaway. Yes, but, uh, thank you, know. you, Hugo. All I was saying was that if I were to bring mm. someone home, I trust that you would behave with due discretion. Oh, absolutely, yes. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. How are you, Davy, my older brother? Uh, sorry, must be going. Busy organising a 30th birthday party for you, bro. Down, down, 
down, hold it, and then up. Oh. Well, this is my first time on television. I did once apply to be a mastermind, but I didn't like my special subject. How many of you just aren't enough questions about the woman? <laughs> <laughs> and I was a little bit young, being only four and a half years old. <laughs> And when I decided to become a vicar, my life was a bit like mastermind. People asked me how, when, and why. And people were worried that, you know, women were becoming vicars. And they were worried that, you know, sue me pantyhose on the <laughs> drying on the, you know, the radiators of their street, or the become hers. <laughs> and they shouldn't worry because all well, they're worrying about the little stuff. They're forgetting to worry about the big stuff, you know, like how to help others and how to love others and show them love. The yeah. So you uh, okay? Just on. Um, I can do that again if that's okay. Sure. Sure. <clears throat> lead. Two. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, this is my first time on television. I did one supply to be on Mastermind, but apparently there weren't enough questions about my special subject, the one rules. And um, I was only four and a half years old at, at the time. And, uh, <laughs> oh. Right. No, no, no. See, last time I did there was a little bit of laughter, wasn't it? A mini laugh, a little, a little titter. The trouble is, we've heard that joke once. Yes. Yes, I know. Um, everyone, can you try and pretend that this is the first time you've heard the sermon? Uh, try and laugh in the same place as you did the first time around. How do we know which of the same places? Oh, well, uh, someone who remembers can hold up a hand and cue you. Um, damn, if I can remember. Uh, no, 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 I, I think I can. Oh, great. Uh, everyone, uh, watch this chap here, all right? Okay. And take three. Geraldine. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Well, this is my first time I've been on television. I did once apply to be a mastermind, but they didn't like my special subject. Apparently, they just asked enough questions about the Wombles, and um, I, I was a bit younger. <laughs> 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 Expecting a laugh. Sure. Okay. Ready? Three, four. Q. In the name of. <laughs> I'm beating down the M40, I can show me around the beam and, um, you know, introduce me to Uncle Bulgaria. Anytime. I'm all yours. Potential, potential, potential snogging situation developing. I wonder if we could perhaps have a chat someday about your next corporate video, uh, Potatoes in the 21st Century. I don't suppose I could uh, get your telephone number or anything? Sure, if I had a pen. Do you remember me? Oh, wow. Uh, that we uh, meet up after even so reminiscent, Mr. Producer. <laughs> uh, you forgot to pick up the phone. Yes, I know, I know. Just sit down, just sit down here. Come on, Geraldine. You can do it. Right. <clears throat> no, no, I just can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Where the picking cotton second here? What? You've gone and got yourself a bit of a crush, haven't you? No, I haven't. Well, maybe just a little bit. Oh, well, this is juice loose about this goose. What am I going to do? No, it's all so right, isn't it? He's a man, I'm a woman. He's a British broadcaster, and I'm a vicar. And he's Scottish, and I love McVitie's biscuits. Oh, well, there's a spooky feeling here that that phone call, my life will depend a lot on this. Okay. <coughs> Hello. Uh, Geraldine. Oh, David. Yes, uh, look, a bit of a strange question here. I was wondering if I could perhaps um, get a telephone number for that Tristan bloke. Uh, oh. I'm trying to get hold of uh, the lighting god. Uh, Ruth, I think her name was, about some damage to the chapel. Uh, seemed to have gotten the number down wrong. Oh, 
Oh, right, I'll have a look for you, Dave. Just a minute. <clears throat> oh, I wonder where that number is. I wonder where it is. Oh, silly me, butter brain me. Oh. Oh. Here it is, as luck would have it, David. It's uh, 077-3359-4124. Uh, no, sorry, I was after Tristan's number. Yes, yes, that's Tristan's number. Oh, okay, well, that's the number I've been calling. That's, uh, that's Ruth's no number. Oh, Tristan Ruth's number. Yes. So is the wedding off then? Looks like it, Alice, you know, it's just typical, isn't it? He's married, he's taken an army woman, and, you know, if a bloke's looking for a hot chick, he's not going to local, the local vicarage, is he? I suppose not. Local disco. Oh yes, local disco, bring your own condom. Local vicarage, bring your own raspberry sponge. Oh, it's back to the tea routers then. It's more to life than being happy. Could have been worse. Could have paid by the eternal moron from Mars on songs of praise like I did. Oh, that was a total cock up, was it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 we're not letting it down. It's going to be fine, it'll be fine. Are you, are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm a vicar, you can trust me. I think it's almost time. Red sky at night is 
the thatched roof on fire at the end of the village. Oh, I love this weather. Reminds me of the great snow. No, yeah, throw your balls off. <laughs> ah, poor old Gladys. What about her? Oh, uh, well, she died, didn't she? During the great snow. Uh, froze to death on Friday night. No, 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 no. That was the great cross. It was the Bottle Twins, Mabel and Edith, who froze to death during the great snow of 54. Oh, rubbish. The Bottles died in the great freeze of 48. Yes, well, I'm about to die of the great boar of 94. Oh, how exciting. Reminds me of the great eclipse of 53. Oh, <laughs> oh shut up. up. If anyone ever asks me out of Christmas lunch again, I'm going to say, no, I'd rather have sex with Benny Hill. I wish they'd just sort of leave me alone, you know? And, and, well, they have actually left me alone, haven't they? Yep, I'm all alone. I should have invited a friend over. Definitely should have invited a friend over. Uh, next time. Oh, come in, I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Honestly, this is the... This is the Jehovah's Witness. I'm joining. I anything to get out of this parish. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, Teresa and Campbell. You probably don't remember me, but I was the producer when it did something. Yes, song. yes, I do. Come through, come through. Um, oh, this is crazy, but uh, this makes one do crazy things, doesn't it? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Well, what about the three wise men? They trekked millions of miles to bring the baby Jesus to the bottles of perfume, didn't they? <laughs> Wait. Yes. It's just that, well... Oh, heck. I know I've just met you the once, but I can't get... I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. Well, I think you're perfect. So I just wondered if you'd marry me. Pardon? I said I wanted you to marry me. Well, that's what I thought you said. Um, <coughs> but you, you want me to decide now? Oh, no, no, it's just that... Well, if you said yes, you'd make me the happiest man alive. I'll love you forever. Well, yes then, yes, well, yeah, well, yes, yes, of course. Okay, oh, fantastic, just, just a sec. Dad, one minute. We loves me, totally in love with me, forsaking all others. Love me from the moment you first met me. Oh, Tom Jones will have to butt out because two's company, three is a crowd. And I'll get us a drink, I'll get us a drink. Does she? Hello, Eva. It's Eva. Eva. <laughs> Eva. <laughs> Hello, Eve, whatever. And you are? I'm Tristan's fiance. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, you are. Do come in. Uh, right, right. Uh, a drink? Oh, thank you. Yes, please. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Something else wrong with all dust, dust, and Christmas decorations, you know. I'm there myself. Right. Uh, uh, we've just been down to meet you, especially Aoife. Has she? Has she? I always said, if I ever got married, the only one that wanted to marry me was Geraldine Granger. Right. Right. Um, well, he used to uh, love like... Well, you know, he used to love marriage. It goes together like a horse and carriage. That's what Cole Porter said, because so he's gay, you know. So here's Tristan, and here's young Heffa. Eva. <laughs> yes, um, it's a strange name, isn't it? How do you spell that? A O I F E. Yes, didn't leave any vowels for us, you creepy hussy. <laughs> actually, actually, there's no U in it. I once, the soppy thing I am, once left a message for Eva. Eva, missing you always. Yes, yes, you are. You always have that wacky spelling, don't you? Oh, you can say that again. Her name's her brother's name is Brefni. Oh right, how do you spell that? B R N K Y Z. That's the guy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> but I love with all my heart. That's all I can say. Despite the name thing. <laughs> and I love him with all my heart. And I'd be thrilled if you would marry us. I'd love a woman to do it. I'd so love you to do it. Oh right. 
Absolutely. You're lovely. <laughs> oh, look, we'd better be going. Don't mean to interrupt your Christmas. It just seems like the perfect time to fix a wedding. And after all, that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it? Yes, huh? yes. And that's a uh, over easy until you spew, hey? <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>